Hey everybody, what's going on? We have unboxings. Let's get to it. Um, there's all sorts of stuff here, guys. We have something from Epic Pictures, which is awesome. Something from my buddy J2H. Something from Amazon. A few things from Macari. Something from Disney Movie Insiders. Um, and then some stuff from Groove.com. So we're going to get right into it, guys, with what Epic Pictures sent to me. Um, I didn't even know this movie was a thing. Um, I saw Noah post it, Noah Kaser post it on his Instagram. Uh, I reached out to the studio that released it and they sent me a copy to review. So I need to check this one out um, to review for you guys and it'll be in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. If you're a wrestling fan, this will be exciting to you. If not, maybe you're a documentary fan and you'd be interested, but it is called Nail in the Coffin. The Fallen Rise of Vampiro. Vampiro used to wrestle back in the day. Uh, WCW, he went on to be an announcer in Lucha Underground. Um, but uh, basically the synopsis is a rare glimpse into the legendary career of wrestling icon Vampiro. As he grapples with his demons and life after fame, straight from one of, the wrestling, straight from one of wrestling's most outspoken characters, this is a candid look beyond the ring. I'm so on board. I love wrestling. I love documentaries, so I'm excited about this. There's a bunch of bonus features with um, interviews and and day in the life stuff. And as an 89 minute runtime, it is region free. Like I said, thank you to Epic Pictures for sending this over to me. Uh, review coming soon for you guys. So excited to check this one out. Next up, my boy Jacob J2H sent me over some stuff as you guys know if you watch Jacob's channel uh well you should watch Jacob's channel box toss there's water over there I almost knocked the water over but I caught it box toss we'll do it that way envelope toss we got that going on so if you guys don't watch Jacob's channel why you suck watch Jacob's channel link down below give him a sub um Jacob is is a sweetheart he is a big hairy teddy bear just like myself um but jacob uh has been buying a ton of wrestling blu-rays uh sent me a list of some stuff he had available and i grabbed a few things and he also got something at dollar tree um that it has me intrigued and a big reason is because it's a it's a bunch of short movies basically what well, would we'll, it's a movie called Holidays, which is a bunch of short movies based on Valentine's Day, Halloween, Father's Day, Mother's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, New Year's, and Christmas. But it's an anthology film, and one of those parts is directed by Kevin Smith. As you guys know, I love Kevin Smith. So technically, I needed to own this because I own everything else Kevin Smith has done on Blu-ray. So I needed to get this on DVD. And I'm curious to check it out. I don't really have high expectations. It was a Dollar Tree title, so I'm sure it'll be something. But I do want to see it. And uh, yeah, holidays. So thank you, Jacob, for that. And like I said, Jacob had a bunch of wrestling Blu-rays. I was interested in some. He sent me pricing. I got two of them. The first one, which I already own, but is missing a disc. So I got this one, which is complete is WCW War Games. If you guys don't know, War Games was two rings put together with a big steel cage covering both rings. Um, so these matches were pretty cool. Uh, NXT has done a few of them since. Now the WWE owns War Games, the name. So War Games, pretty cool to have that on Blu-ray, the complete set now. Thank you to Jacob for that. And then the one I'm most excited about, this man, today's October 10th when I'm recording, by the way. This man just celebrated his 30th anniversary in wrestling. He has a book coming out about all 30 years in the business. He's worked for WCW, ECW, WWE, New Japan, AEW. He's been all over. And that is The Road is Jericho epic stories and rare matches from y2j 
I love Chris Jericho. He's one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, in my opinion. One of the greatest on the mic as well. Uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of matches on here. There's an ECW match. There's a WCW match. A bunch of WWE stuff. A bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. Uh, the last match on here is Jericho versus CM Punk. So, Chris Jericho rode the Jericho. Thank you to Jacob. Like I said, if you guys don't follow Jacob, excuse me, give him a sub. Check the description box down below for a link to his channel. Tell him Rick sent you. Say Rick loves you. I subscribe to your channel and leave it in a comment to his most recent video after you subscribe. So next up is from Amazon. I paid $4.99 for this. This was part of a bunch of movies that just got re-released um, by Paramount. They were There were a ton of Miramax movies that were out of print, including this movie, which I think maybe three months ago, I sold a copy of this for $35 or $40. I wanted to keep it for myself, but um, for that kind of money, I, I sold it. I didn't need it that bad, especially on Blu-ray. And then they announced they were re-releasing it, and uh, this cost me $5.00 brand new and that is serendipity starring john cusack and kate beckinsale uh also molly shannon and jeremy piven are in this but yes so this is a miramax film but if you guys can see paramount put out a ton of miramax movies they re-released the first three streams the first three spy kids uh the kevin smith triple feature which is clerk's Clerks, Jane and Bob Strike Back. <sighs> Chasing Amy? Yeah, Chasing Amy, Clerks, and Jane and Bob Strike Back. Uh, she's All That. There were a bunch of movies that they re-released. Re and this was one of them. So for $5, I grabbed Serendipity to add to the collection. I actually remember really, really loving this movie, and I think it's crazy because Bridget isn't a big fan of this movie, uh, but I love John Cusack, and for $5, wanted to add this to the collection. So serendipity added to the collection. Uh, next up, this is from Macari. It was part of a group of movies that were sealed. <coughs> Excuse me. It was $25 for five movies, so five bucks a piece. Uh, I plan on selling the other four because I own them already, but I did not own this. And it is Lego Shazam Magic and Monsters. Uh, this is the version with the Shazam Lego toy. Brand new, factory sealed, getting the rub there. So I have a ton of these Lego movies that I don't think RJ's ever sat and watched. So why not get another one? Uh, so yeah, Lego Shazam there. Uh, wanted to add that to the collection. Like I said, $5.00. Gonna beat it from Macari. Uh, this is very cool. I got this from Macari. This has been on my wish list for quite some time, but I was very particular that if I got this, I needed to get it with the slipcover because the slipcover seems very, very hard to come by. And uh, this came with the slip and the discs are mint, and that is Get Out on 4K. Love, love, love Get Out is a modern masterpiece. Uh, yes, so Get Out with the slipcover, the 4K Blu-ray combo. Upgraded my regular Blu-ray to 4K. Get Out on 4K. I paid $13 shipped for this. 13 or 14 shipped. I think it was 13 So Get Out on 4K. Couldn't pass that up. Even though I could have bought it new for that price, wasn't guaranteed a slipcover. Disney Movie Insiders, guys, is back with physical rewards. No more digital gift cards and coloring pages. They got physical rewards. I went the day they relaunched. The website was an absolute mess. It was a garbage fire. Luckily, I went on later and they still had the title. that I was looking for, <clears throat> and that is 
Thor Ragnarok on 4K. I finally own all three Thor movies on 4K, even though this is the superior one by far. Um, I'm just excited to own them all on 4K now. I own the Target exclusive version of this, the Blu-ray, uh, which has the big gallery book. I'll probably end up selling that and keeping just the 4K now. So it takes up less room and then I have it on the uh, superior uh, format. That's the word. Wish it had the slip cover, but beggars can't be choosers. Thor Ragnarok for free. Disney Movie Insiders. Didn't have to pay for shipping at all. And last but not least, I ordered from a website that I had never ordered from before. Um, they had some too good to be true deals. If you guys are aware or aren't aware, they had the Back to the Future 4K set pre-ordered for $9.99. Uh, of course, it was a night I went to bed early and I heard all about it through text messaging, but I was asleep through all of it, so I did not get a chance to order it. And then like a week later, Jacob, once again, check out his channel, link down below. Reached out to the group chat with Crazy Joe, Joe Martinez, Jacob and myself, and Booth Babe Greg, sorry. And um, he said, you're not going to believe the deals they have on Groove.com. He told us about them. We all, I think, went over. The website kept locking up. Uh, it was a pain to get through. But finally, I was able to get through. I got an amazing set, which I'm going to wait and show you. But then I placed another order because for over $25, they had free shipping. There were three things that I wanted to get. Um, there's only two things in this envelope because the third thing got back ordered. But if you guys watch my next video, which will be Facebook video, uh, a Facebook pickup video, maybe my next video. Whenever you guys see my next Facebook pickup video, I ended up getting the item in a Facebook deal. So I'm still supposed to get it, um, from this company, but I guess I'll sell one of them. I'll sell either the sealed one or I'll sell the open one. Probably the sealed one makes sense since I plan on watching them. But <clears throat> I ordered three movies with free shipping. Um, I kind of bought these to get myself over the $25 threshold. Plus uh, one of these has been on my wish list. The first one um, I think is out of print. I know it's second in Charles, it's priced at like $30 used, so I never buy it, and I've never seen the movie. I've always wanted to see it. Uh, directed by Oliver Stone, starring Tom Cruise, who I love so much of Tom Cruise's movies. So I'm very curious to check it out. And that is Born on the 4th of July, this being a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. It was advertised with the slipcover, the Universal 100th Anniversary slip. It did not come with that. This was $9.99, I believe. So I splurged a little to get it. Uh, if I would have known it didn't have the slipcover, would I have bought it? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Of course, if I would have known the item that I really wanted to order wasn't going to get shipped, I probably wouldn't have bought this or the next title I'm about to show you guys, and they would have just stayed on my wish list. But hey, it's just money. Um, this is pretty cool. This has been on my wish list for a while, and I don't think I own any of these movies individually. I don't believe so. I think I actually, I lied. I do own one of them. It's in a different area. So I owned this, but now I have this. The Madagascar Ultimate Collection, which is Madagascar 1, 2, and 3. The Penguins of Madagascar, three shorts and 10 TV episodes with the digital code. This was $19.99. It's been on my wish list for quite a while. It came out the same time the Shrek set came out. Um, I ordered the Shrek set and I held off on this. So I will get rid of this. This will get traded into Pam's. And this will take up the same amount of space and have four movies plus TV shows, plus shorts, which are Halloween or Halloween and Christmas related, I believe. So Madagascar, the ultimate collection. Pretty cool to add that to a collection. And then last but not least, the, the steal of the sale, 
the set that I paid very, very little for. Uh, this was $7 and 50 cents. Um, uh, this is really cool. Uh, $7 and 50 cents. And I paid for the expedited shipping. It was to my house in two days. As you guys will be able to tell, it's already open because I wanted to look at it. And that is the Fast and Furious 8 movie collection on 4K and Blu-ray. So this is a 16 or 17 disc set. We'll peel the plastic off. I'll give you guys a, a little show. You have the J card here with all the information. The cool box, which is a heavy, heavy cardboard. <clears throat> and in the inner box, and they're all in sleeves. You have each movie, Blu-ray, 4K, one through eight. I already own Hobbs and Shaw in 4K. I'm sure they'll put out more sets when nine comes out. It has a digital copy code for all eight movies on 4K. And there's a bonus DVD disc. So 17 discs, eight 4Ks, eight Blu-rays, digital copy, $7.50. This deal was amazing. I think this retails for like 70 or 80 bucks. They also had the Jurassic Park um, five movie 4K set for the same price point. And like I said, there was another set on Blu-ray that I bought um, in a Facebook deal that I will show off in a future video and I'll probably still get the copy, I hope, that I bought from Universal. If not, I guess they'll just refund me. But Fast and Furious 8 movie set on 4K for $7.50 is an amazing deal. I already sold my Blu-ray set, which more than paid for this, but that's a whole different story. So we're going to flip it. We're going to elevator it. Thank you to Epic Pictures for sending Nail in the Coffin. J2H, Amazon, Macari, um, Disney Movie Insiders, and Groove.com. Like I said, guys, links down below to Jacob's channel. Give him a sub. Say Rick sent you. Tell him that I said I love him. All right. So thank you guys for watching. As always. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys don't do so already. Hit the bell notification so you guys know when new videos drop. Also, comments, leave comments. What have you guys been grabbing? What do you think of my pickups? Tell me how much you love my beard. Whatever you wanna do, it is appreciated. Check out the descriptions where you can find links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Jacob's page. I think this is the fifth time I've mentioned it. Jacob's YouTube, down below. Also, uh, Letterboxd, where I review all the movies I watch, Blu-ray.com profile, eBay page, Amazon wishlist, email address, P.O. box, all down below. As always, my throat's starting to hurt. I, I've recorded four videos. I want to try to get two more done. We'll see who's down to Blu-ray snob. Do you know this shirt's like out of print? Pretty cool. Bye, guys.